Hey everyone, I've got the MCP Playwright server running here locally in my .vs code folder, just in this project. And I've got a generate test prompt um, that is basically using Playwright and agent mode to create some tests based on exploring a website. So I've got no access to the actual uh, test files here. I want a uh, copilot and I want the agent to just go along and um, use the MCP server to navigate to the website, search through the website as a user would, navigate, um, browse it, and come up with a couple of key functionalities and then write some tests based on the actual actions that it has performed. So uh, we can see here, it's trying to use the search function and it's gonna type in Star Wars. Now look at this straight away, the search term equals Star Wars, the search results say Star Wars, but the movie says kill. So there's something going on there. Now I need to actually go and fix that because that doesn't look like great, but that's a really good scenario that came up just now because when I've been testing this website, I've been putting in Garfield and Deadpool and Avengers and the results have been perfect every time. So as far as I'm concerned, my search works. And I've just seen using the MCP server, my search doesn't work as expected. It's touched, it's found an edge case that I didn't find. So that's kind of really cool. Um, it's uh, now gonna use the theme toggle feature. So it's clicking the toggle switch to change the theme. We're already in dark mode. It's now gone to light mode. So uh, that's great, it's searching that that works. Um, now I did ask it for only one test. So um, it's just closed the browser there. I did ask it to do that, that's great. And it's gonna summarize its findings. So it'll be interesting to see what test it decides to write. Um, so the exploration, right? It's on the home page, uh, the search functionality, the movie details page, um, giving a list of all that movie details and the theme toggle and the navigation. So there's five things it's found and it's gonna implement a test for the movie search functionality. That's the one it's chosen as its favorite or the most uh, important one. But because I have these other ones here, I can basically then say, go ahead and write tests for all those other um, functionalities. But I only wanted one just for this demo, just to keep it quick and easy. Um, so fixed a lint error there, that's that's great. Thank you, agent mode. And, um, now it's going to run the test to see if it works. So it's opening up the terminal and it's going to run the test and running one test and the test seems to have worked. The test passed. So that is fantastic. There's our test. The test has passed. Now we didn't see anything. We don't know if that works as it is meant to. It looks good to me. Uh, code looks great. Um, I mean, are we happy with that? I'm pretty happy with that, but we can always uh, check it out and work it ourselves. So uh, once agent mode is finished doing what it's doing, it's giving us a summary of all the things it's done. That's great because I can use that summary then to um, you know, create a pull request and um, make sure it's done what it's done. So we'll go ahead and keep that file. Now I'm just gonna go in here to my test explorer and I'm gonna choose um, show trace viewer. And I'm just gonna press play here in VS Code. So it's gonna open up the trace viewer for me. And then I can go along and I can actually see, um, it's a little bit small there, so let's just zoom in. Um, and you can see, let's do it full size. You can see there, search for movie, and there I typed in Star Wars, and we got Star Wars back. So it did actually search for that. Now the movies might not update, that's just how the page um, loading happens. But then it went along and clicked on Deadpool. And again, that's something that I could definitely go ahead and fix in the app application itself. It's found Deadpool movie, and then it's gone ahead and clicked through, um, through the titles and checked to see if it has specific titles. Um, and then it's gone ahead and we've got Star Wars and it's got checked for this. So again, this is pretty cool because you can go ahead and check uh, what's just happened, what it's actually done. And uh, then you can go back and basically improve that and iterate over it um and then create more tests but that was pretty good for just literally navigate explore this url and uh, use this uh, test prompt file to to basically just come up with and i just said one right if i had it five it would have given me five tests so very very powerful um things you can do with the playwright mcp so go ahead and test it out go and get it to explore a site and see what it comes up with you'd be surprised how many bugs you might find uh, and how many improvements you can make to your site happy testing with playwright